Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a little bit of a different kind of video. I will actually be taking you guys along on my journey of attaining the Dyson Airwrap. Yes, um, I made the purchase. I've heard so many great things, but also at the same time, I've heard so many mixed reviews. So after thinking long and hard, um, I decided I was going to buy one. I actually had it on my Christmas wish list, but the Dyson Airwrap is so hard to get your hands on. They're literally sold out everywhere, especially during the holidays. There was no chance of getting it. And now I want to document me trying it out for the first time, um, my first impressions, what I think of it. Is it worth the money? Actually, I think I filmed a clip of me when I was like getting it. So I'll insert that here. Guys, I'm so excited right now. Okay, so hear me out. Before any of you guys are like, it is crazy expensive. Yes, I know, I know. So I didn't get it for the longest time because I was like, there's no way I'm spending that much. But my TikTok algorithm clearly knew that I really liked it and I kept getting videos of it. Anyways, today I was on a walk and in the middle of my walk, I just spontaneously had the thought, spontaneous spontaneously had the thought you know i'm just gonna call sephora like the sephora at the beverly center which is like 15 minutes away from my apartment um i was like you know i'm just gonna call sephora ask if they have one i don't know why i i don't randomly just call sephora so i don't know why i had this thought but thank god i had this thought because <laughs> in the middle of my walk i pull up my phone look up sephora beverly center call them and i'm like hey by any chance do you have the dyson air wrap and they're like uh let us go check i kid you not they get back on the phone and they're like yeah we actually have one left in the store right now like we had a shipment last night and we got a few in stock and we have one left and I was like, oh my God, can you like put on hold? I was like literally telling the customer service lady, I was like, oh my gosh, can you put on hold? I've been wanting for so long. And she's like, yeah, this girl needs to chill. Um, so she's like, yeah, like as long as you come before the store closes today. And I was like, I will be there. Okay, we got it, we got it. It is so heavy. They have a double bag it. Sephora at the Beverly Center is like on the seventh or eighth floor. So I had to like go back to the parking lot and I was, it is really heavy. I was struggling for a bit. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Do a little first impressions because I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, changed location, but this is what she looks like. It comes in this very nice case. Um, and actually I heard if you go into the Dyson store and you take your case, they can actually engrave it, like emboss it with your name or initials or something. So if I end up keeping this, like not returning it, I am definitely going to do that because it's like they do it free of charge. Come with me to get my Dyson Airwrap engraved. In my last video, a lot of you were asking where I got this done. So I got it done at the Dyson store at the Center City Mall in LA, but they have the service at a ton of different Dyson stores across the country. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Not only is it super quick, but it's also free. So um, like, why wouldn't you do it? They have a ton of different color options like silver, blue, pink. I ended up choosing gold because I wanted more of a classic look. You can engrave. Okay, well, technically it's called embossing. Um, You can emboss up to three letters. I don't have a middle name so I just did my first and last initial and yeah only took like 30 minutes and it is super cute. This is what it looks like on the inside. It has all the parts and then it has like the actual hair dryer. What's really cool about it is like even if you don't want to curl your hair you can also straighten your hair with like the other parts and also it's a hair dryer. Oh my gosh it feels so fancy and luxurious. Here is the like body part and then here's the hair dryer part how do i i don't know if i'm doing this wrong but it doesn't really like snap in like you don't hear a click sound do i need to push this in more so this is the hair dryer what's really cool about it also is it has this cool shot technology which is more for the actual curling parts. So these are the barrels. These are for like tighter curls and then these are for wider curls, like more like waves. I heard that they have longer barrels, like you have to buy them separately, which I probably need like 
Basically, every person I know who has a Dyson Airwrap ended up needing to buy the longer barrels because their hair like didn't fit all on the shorter barrels. And then it comes with two of each size because when you do like one half of your hair, you want the curls to be facing outwards and then you want like this side of your curls to be facing outwards. So if you look at them, they have like arrows on them and the arrows are going opposite directions so when you do this side of your hair you want the arrows that go that way and then this side of your hair you want the arrows that go that way so anyways you put this on and then when you are curling your hair so you use a heat method and then they have this thing called the cool shit they have this thing called the cool shot technology so that way it cools the curl and it like sets the curl because I think the main reason why my curls usually fall out when I use a regular curling iron is because like you immediately let it go when it's still hot so like gravity just kind of weighs down on it when it's still warm so then it gets straight again so hopefully the cool shot technology works next are these two just like brush heads don't know what the difference is. I think one of them is called like the soft brush head and one of them is called the hard brush head. But these are for like making your hair straight and I think like having like a blowout kind of effect. But there's also this head, which is very like blowout kind of style. So yes, I'm very excited to try it all. I heard it has a like learning curve. It's pretty difficult to get the hang of at first. So we'll see how I do with this. Tomorrow. Okay, it is the next morning and I am going to test the Dyson Airwrap. This is all my first impressions, my first time trying it, so um, let's see how this goes. Also, the lighting is horrendous. I hate how the overhead lighting is like right above my head. Um, I look pale as a ghost, but let me go get the Dyson Airwrap. Oh, first I am going to wet my hair. I'm going to spray my hair with this spray bottle that I got off of Amazon. It's super cute, like, look at it. I will link it down below um, on my Amazon shop page. I always include the link for my Amazon shop page. You can shop all my favorite Amazon pieces. Oh, I just spilled that all over myself. So from my understanding, you're supposed to use the Dyson Airwrap with wet or like damp hair, but my hair is clearly dry, so I'm just gonna spray it with a spray bottle. Okay, hopefully that's damp enough. I highly recommend that spray bottle. It, I don't know, there's something about it. It feels so luxurious. Oh, it made my floral wet. Ugh. Okay, next I'm gonna apply a heat protectant. This is the Jizo. I think that's how you pronounce it. This product. Got it from Sephora. It's the Propolis Infused Heat Protecting Spray. Um, I've only used it a couple times, but so far I really like it. Definitely better than my old heat protectant spray. I used to use the Chi Iron Guard. This, I used to use the Chi Iron Guard. That was like my go-to heat protectant since like high school. And I liked it, but I don't know, it was very like heavy. So I've been wanting to change it up and I heard really great things about this one. So far I've really liked it. Okay, we got our... Dyson Era baby, gonna plug her in. So it has different fan options. I'm gonna turn it up to the highest fan option and then you can also adjust the heat setting. So I'm gonna turn it up to the highest heat setting and then this is the on button. So when you wanna turn it on, you move it to the middle. And then the cool shot is you push it all the way up. So let's see, I'm gonna do this side of my hair first, which would be this barrel, no. I have to like look at the mirror. Okay, yeah, this barrel because I want my curls to be going that way. Okay, taking the first piece. I'm literally just copying what I've seen from TikTok, so I think I just go like this. Now we're gonna do the cool shot. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that was pretty fun. Oh my gosh, wait, that was fun. I'm pretty sure I chose the right barrel because it's going outwards. Is that, is it? Is it going the right way? Okay, I'm gonna try the other barrel just to make sure I'm doing this right. Come on. There we go. <gasps> I 
That's literally a George Washington curl. Oh, okay, wait. I don't know if you can see that, but the end... I'm not really vibing with the end right there. Yeah, the end did not curl well. Let's see. So this one is going inwards and this one's going outwards. So the first barrel I used was the right one for this side. I will switch that back now. Also, I thought I'd have a problem with the short, like the barrels being like these shorter ones, but for my hair length, it's fine. Wow. Okay, so far I'm learning that I kind of have to like feed the curl onto the barrel because if I don't, the end pieces will like fly away or like fly off or just like not fit onto the barrel um, and then the end pieces aren't being curled. So I do need to like kind of hold my hand and like make sure all the hair pieces get onto the barrel. Like, see, I don't know if you can see, but this piece has fallen off the barrel. So I kind of need to like make sure it stays up there. struggling with the end pieces staying on. Okay, I've pretty much done half of my hair, so before I switch over to the other barrel, I'll show you the difference. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Did not realize like when I curl my hair how much of a length difference it makes, which I mean like it makes sense. And this is before I've like really combed out the curls and like made them more wavy. I'll do that after I do this side, but okay, Dyson Airwrap, I see you. And this is the thicker barrel, so like technically it's supposed to be more wavy-ish curls. For the first time using it, not too shabby. Also another thing I noticed is that was pretty quick to do half a head of hair. Um, I think it only took like five-ish minutes. Okay, so just switch the barrel. So now it's going the other way. Okay, that one I kind of effed up. <gasps> that, that was not that successful. Okay, what do we think? I really like how voluminous it keeps my hair. Again, the main problem I have with curling my hair is the curls fall out really, really quickly. So we'll see how it stays throughout the day. That'll be the true testament. Um, debating whether I should put hairspray in it, obviously hairspray is gonna make it stay longer, but I usually don't like putting hairspray into my hair because it just makes it feel more like like the product build up and if I were to curl my hair often like the product would build up and I just don't like that feeling in my hair hmm. but I don't know like if I don't put hairspray in would it just fall out okay this is what I'll do for today I will not put hairspray and then if the curls fall out then I'll curl it again tomorrow and then put hairspray and see if the curls fall out 
that sounds like a plan. But yeah, first impressions. Um, first, I'm very impressed with how quickly I curl my hair. Um, something else I don't like about regular curling irons is that sometimes like when I'm like curling my hair and I'm halfway through my head of hair, the curling iron needs some time to get hot again because the heat like transfers to your hair. So then I have to wait for like five minutes for my curling iron to reheat itself. But this, you don't have to wait at all. Now we will just see how it lasts throughout the day and I will update you guys later. Later. Okay, update. It is currently 8 p.m. So the curls like really fell out. Um, it's pretty much back to straight. Like it's, there's a little bit of wave, but it's very, the curls have fallen out. As I said, I didn't put in any hairspray or anything. And then also I went on a run with a ponytail earlier. So like when you have a ponytail, like you go on a run, it's like bobbing up and down. So it would make sense that the curls would fall out. I'm gonna definitely try it again another day and put hairspray in so that I can see if it'll last all day. If I'm gonna spend, what, like over $600 on a curler, the curls better last. A little disappointed, but honestly not the surprise. Um, that was kind of what I was expecting because my hair always falls out of curls and I didn't put any product after I curled it. Eventually. Okay, hello guys. Um, it is about a week later. Um, I'm going to attempt to do the Dyson Air Wrap again. Um, so just comb my hair. Now I'm going to put the heat protectant and then just spray it with water. Oh, also, since the last time we spoke, yes, my hair is a different color. I got a balayage. It is a lighter brown in case you have not noticed. <laughs> now I'm gonna spray it with water. Yeah, you know, I'm really getting the feeling that I need the longer barrels. Like, my hair isn't even that long, but it just, like, falls off the end. I will say, I am getting the hang of this now, and it's still very fun to do. Also, since I got my balayage, like I feel like balayages look so good with like curled hair just because you see like the layers of the color, so I'm kind of digging this. The Cool Shot technology also really comes in clutch. Before, when I would curl my hair with a regular curling iron, I would like pin the curls up like to my head so that they would cool like in the curl shape and obviously that takes time as well and it's like kind of a hassle so really appreciating the cool shot technology okay just finished this half of my hair um i really like how it turned out let's do the other side Gosh, that is literally a George Washington curl right there. Okay, definitely gonna be combing that out later. <laughs> Damn, another George Washington curl. Wait, wait a second. Okay, um, kind of obsessed. Like this literally looks like I want to go get my hair done. Wow, let's go put some hairspray in. This is just the Tresemme hairspray, nothing special. I literally just got it from Target. 
Um, and then also in terms of how long it took, my camera says that I've been filming for 14 minutes. So that's kind of an estimate. Um, again, it's only my second time doing it, so maybe I'll get faster with time, but I feel like I kind of got the hang of it, so. I will update you guys later to see whether the curls stayed. Later. Update, it is the end of the day, and guys, the curls stayed. Yeah! And I'm kind of living for this. Like, we're not getting George Washington curls anymore. They've definitely, like, fallen out a little bit, but still kept the curl. I use a thicker barrel for this, and I am really liking this look. Wow. Um... You know, part of me was like hoping I wouldn't be impressed because then I would save some money if I returned the product But I don't think I'll be returning it just because first of all the convenience of it it's very fast You don't have to wait for it to heat up the fact that it is less damaging Like the heat doesn't damage your hair as much as a regular curling iron cool shot technology is definitely a time saver And like also it's fun to use the Dyson like it literally like sucks up your hair and I, I have fun when I'm curling my hair You know, I think I'm gonna keep it is it worth the price? That is debatable. I need to use the other accessory parts too. Like I've only used a thick barrel. I haven't even tried the thin barrel. I haven't used any of the comb heads. Stay tuned. Um, maybe I'll make like an updated video where I use more of the parts and show you guys like my routine and like how I make different like hairstyles or stuff with the Dyson. And then maybe in that video, I will say my full review of like whether it's worth the price. But as of right now, I really enjoy the thicker barrel and curling my hair so don't be surprised if I suddenly start having curled hair in like every video anyways that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed coming along this journey of getting the Dyson air out trying it out for the first time trying it out again and then hearing a bit about my review on it um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below like your thoughts about the Dyson air app if you have one if even if you don't have one like what are your thoughts from like watching other people's videos do you think it's worth the price and if you do have one or if you've tried the Dyson Airwrap before, um, please leave any of your tips because like I said, I am still getting used to it. It has a learning curve. So I would really appreciate any advice or tips that anyone has. If I do end up getting the longer barrels, I will also update you guys on that um, because I think I might, I might make that purchase. We'll see. I mean, I thought I would need to, but I was able to curl my hair just fine. You know, I've already spent so much money on the Dyson Airwrap. I don't know if I wanna buy another accessory part. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.